You don't need to wait for the start of a new year to start a new habit. Today's books I'm going to show you are all related to the art and practice of journaling or how to keep a journal. Now people have lots of different reasons that they would use a journal. Some people want to free write and process thoughts and feelings. Some people want to get super duper organized and some people want to just have a creative outlet. A journal can be one or all of those things or whatever it is you want it to be. But today's I'm going to show you three books. Two are related mostly to being organized. So the first one is the bullet journal method. This is by Ryder Carroll. Um, bullet journaling has become a, a really, really popular form of journal keeping in the last few years. Uh, people are using it for many different types of tasks. And this book goes into detail on how to use it um, and what it can apply to. It's available in our digital library and it's also about to be available on the shelf. Uh, next, and it's similar to the bullet uh, journal method, is dot journaling. This one is by Rachel Wilkerson Miller. And it's, it's pretty similar in terms of how it works, uh, but it's a good companion to read to the bullet journal method. Uh, it's available online in our digital library. It is also now about to be available on the shelf. And last, for people who are looking to use a journal as a creative outlet, I would, I would show you Journal Sparks by Emily Neuberger. This contains lots of different ideas on how to incorporate art journaling as a daily practice. It gives you lots of different prompts and ideas, and it is available in-house. So, these and more are available. I have many more books about journaling and different types of ways journals can be used. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Go on the catalog and start putting things on hold, and we'll see you next week on To Read or Not To Read.